I've been thinking about this for a while, but the Supernote Nomad has such a nice feel with the Feelrite 2 screen and the fine point ceramic tips that I wanted to see if I could try to adapt it to the Remarkable. I put out a poll actually earlier last week and I put the Kindle Scribe, the Remarkable, and Books devices of which one you guys would want to see. Surprisingly, you guys chose the Books devices. I wasn't really expecting that, but unfortunately, that's the only one I don't have. So I'm going to try it on the Remarkable, which is the second best one there. I uh, just got a package in today from Rata, and this is the Supernote A5X Feelrite 2. I think it comes with Feelrite 1, so you can adapt Feelrite 2 onto the A5X. But I wanted to give it a shot and uh, see if I could adapt it to a Remarkable and kind of see how well it works out. So yeah, just stay tuned, we'll see how it goes. But here is the film. Uh, actually, I also, I think I got, let's see. Yeah, I also got the ceramic nib replacements here. So I'm gonna try to adapt some of my own pens here to the Supernote platform. All right, let's look at the sizing. Okay, so vertically it looks like it actually should fit perfectly. And then the corners are kind of rounded. The only thing is this left side. So here I will probably need to trim just to have it be flush uh, and straight because the Remarkable is a little asymmetrical. Also, thanks to the one viewer that commented about maybe adapting it to a device. That was all the motivation I needed to try this. So I'm pretty, pretty pumped to give this a go here. I think what I'm gonna try to do is go to a FedEx or like a UPS store. If you remember in elementary school, they had those like kind of guillotine devices that can chop paper pretty, pretty straight. Uh, this, I could try to do it with a scissor, but I wanna do it right. And I think it'll come out better if I do it with an actual kind of measured thing. So it looks like we only need to take maybe a little millimeter or two off here on the side, but uh, let's go mark that up. And then I will go try to find one of those devices. It's like a quarter, yeah, quarter of a centimeter, basically. All right, so we're gonna try the UPS store here. Hopefully they have one of these things. A few minutes later. <laughs> Fourth sense charm. Went to UPS, so Speedy, FedEx, and then finally a fourth UPS and got it done there. All right, so I wanna just do a quick writing test to uh, keep it fresh in my memory once I put the screen protector on. So this is with the marker plus. This is the standard marker with a titanium nib. And <laughs> uh, this is maybe a little risky, but I'm just gonna try with the ceramic nib. This could scratch, but hopefully not. Heart of Metal 2 pen from Rada. All right, so there we go. All right, so I'm just using some lens cleaner and give it a quick little wipe down. And I looked at Rada's kind of feel right to film application install. It seems like they took the front off first and then we'll line it up. What they basically have to do, I think they give like little three little guide tapes, but uh, those did not come in the box. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use tape. I'm gonna try to line that up as well as I can. Three little guide pieces of tape. And I'll give it just one more little wipe because I put it on the table. All right, and then basically what it seemed like they did was they lifted. I have a little spudger card which might come in handy here. So I'm peeling this bottom layer back as I'm pressing. And now I'm just gonna start pulling this a little. Ooh. 
All right, it is on. We have maybe the tiniest bubble right here, but that's about it. Uh, what I am gonna do is I'm gonna remove this. All right, so moment of truth now. Let's try with the marker plus first. This feels really smooth. It glides a lot. Very different feel. So with the kind of felt graphite tips, you are not going to get that scratchy feel or sound even that you're uh, used to. Now let's try with a titanium nib. Pretty grippy. nib and oh man I forgot the titanium nib I forgot when feel right too when you first install it or when you first used your device it really has a grippy like almost like feels like almost like it catches a lot but that does break in over a little bit of time so uh, maybe I'll have to do an update on uh, how that feels after a little bit on the remarkable and now for the moment of truth let's do the ceramic nib we're on the fine liner the, was it the medium setting okay Yep, feels just like Feel Right 2. This is with the Heart of Metal 2 pen. All right, so now one other thing I want to try is the ballpoint. Ballpoint works fine with the ceramic. All point much darker with less pressure on the marker plus and now with the titanium nib a little lighter than the marker plus and now for the last test let's see how like pencil shading goes so I want to see if it's unaffected with the marker plus so test Let's see, can we still do shading? Yeah, I can still do pretty light to dark. Okay. So yeah, it didn't really affect much there. Let's see the eraser. Okay, that feels a lot grippier. That's, there's a lot of grip there for the eraser. And maybe that'll fade over time too. But you'll see with the titanium nib, the pencil is harder to get. You can still get some, some shading there, like that. Oh, wow. Okay, so with the ceramic nib, the pencil on the Remarkable is, I'd say, borderline unusable. Like, let me try to shade here. Nah, I have to press crazy hard to even get... Okay, so that's one thing. You should note the uh, kind of graphite pencil that will not work with the ceramic nib super well. I think it's because it has uh, tilt support, whereas the fine liner and the ballpoint pen have less of that. But you can see even on the ballpoint here that it is much finer and much thinner. And I have to press, uh, let me go back here, I have to press harder to get it to indent, like dark. But if I go light here, and I'm, I'm pressing like normal ballpoint and pressing the same hardness here. You'll see it's much darker. But I mean, the cool thing is I can now use the ceramic nib. I can use the titanium nib with no fear of scratching it. And I can use the marker plus as well. So in conclusion, this does work. You could definitely do it for a scribe, a books device or the remarkable. You might just need to like trim it a little bit. I didn't find the actual experience of putting on the Feel Right 2 that difficult. I've done a decent amount of screen protectors, but um, this one felt like it was amongst the easier side of ones. If you are interested in picking up one of these uh, Feel Right 2 films for the A5X size, I will link it below. But yeah, if you really use the kind of felt graphite tips a lot, then I don't really think this mod is for you. It doesn't feel nearly as good. It's, I mean, hear that? It still has a little bit of that scratchy feel, but it's less scratchy and 
surprisingly almost less grippy, I think. But if you do really like using a titanium nib, you hear that? Or if you uh, were one of the people that wanted to use a ceramic nib on this or your books or your, your scribe, then I think it's definitely a good option. And I don't know, maybe I'll do a short where I update after a couple weeks once Feel Right 2 is broken in on this. If you have any questions, leave them below. And uh, I will also maybe leave a comment below if I find any new things about using Feel Right 2 on the Remarkable. What, what device would you want to adapt this to? Leave that in the comments below too. Like I mentioned, I'm also gonna be adapting some of the ceramic refills I got here to some of my favorite pens. So when I get that done, I will put that video up here. But thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.